today's session is about solving simultaneous equations. When we talk about solving simultaneous equations, the very thing that we are looking for is that value of x and the respective value of y that will make both equations true. There are three common methods to solve equations simultaneously. First is the elimination method. From the name itself, this method will eliminate one of the two variables by adding or subtracting the two equations, thus leaving only the other variable which can then be solved. In this case, if we subtract the left sides of the two equations, e minus e will give us 0, eliminating y in the process. If we subtract the right sides, 3x minus 1 half x will give us 5 over 2x or 2.5x and 1 minus 3 will give us minus 2. There was a rule in solving equations that says whatever you do on the left, you also do on the right. So to solve this equation, we can add both sides by 2 and divide both sides by 5 over 2, giving us x equals 4 over 5 or 0 0.8. To find the value of y, we can use this x value and input this into one of the two equations given. Let's choose the easy one. So y is equal to 3 times the value of x which is 4 over 5 plus 1. Hence, y is 17 over 5 or 3.4. Another method we can use to solve simultaneous equations is the substitution method. This method involves substituting the expression representing a variable into the other equation. If the first equation says that y is the same as 3x plus 1, use this value of y and substitute it to the variable y in the other equation. This process leads us to 3x plus 1 is equal to 1 half x plus 3. To solve for x, we will put all expressions with variable x on the left side and the constants on the right side. To do this, we will subtract both sides by 1 half x, and by subtracting both sides by 1 afterwards. We will get the expression 5 over 2x is equal to 2. You can see in the result that this expression is the same expression we had when we used the elimination method. In the same way, we divide both sides by 5 over 2, giving us the value of x which is 4 over 5 or 0.8. We can substitute this x value into one of the two equations given to find the value of y. And y is equal to 3.4. If you have noticed, either method gives the same value anyway, you may choose which one is easier and you can use the other method to check. Elimination and substitution methods are both algebraic in nature. The third method is graphical method and requires skills in graphing straight lines. To graph the first equation y is equal to 3x plus 1, the y-intercept is 1 and the gradient is 3 over 1. We will use this two information to find the other points and connect them to create the line for the first equation. Since the two equations are simultaneous, the two lines must be drawn on the same Cartesian plane. For the second equation y is equal to 1 half x plus 3, the y-intercept is 3 and gradient is 1 half. Use these two elements, we can find the other points and draw the straight line for this equation. What do you notice about the two lines? Yes. They intersect at this point where the x value is 0.8 and the y value is 3.4. All three methods agree on the same thing, the resulting x value and the corresponding y value are both shared by the two equations, thus, we call these values as the solutions of this set of simultaneous equations.